This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Oh my, there's a pile so big that I it's hard to guess how much dirt is in it. We've had a new block. We've added a new block to the toolbox called while there is a pile. Oop, yep. Use this to remove dirt only while there is still some to scoop. Okay, that makes sense. So as long as there's dirt to scoop, we can use that. Workspace, one out of four. Okay, so yep, we got one block out of four. So looks like I'm going to need to move forward to get to it and then remove. Oops, but I'm only allowed to use one remove block. Well, let's see what this does. Oh, well, that time it was nine, but I only removed one. Whoa, do you see that, that it's changing? So I know it says only one remove block, but let me just throw a few on here. Six this time, and I got through three. Nine that time. Seven this time. So computers, it's hard with programs because things can be random. You don't always know how many times, like, a player is going to press the A button or things like this. And to do that, to, to make a program work anyways, we can use while loops or while loops that will run as long as something is happening. So this says while well, there's dirt. Well, this would be able to run now no matter what, even if it's a random amount of dirt, one, ten, a million, right? Whereas this would not work that way. We can't just put ten down there and if there's 47 pieces of dirt, the program's not going to remove it all. This keeps going as long as there's dirt. Let's see. Boom. And just to prove my point, so that time there was four, now there's eight, and it works just the same. As long as there's dirt, we're going to remove it. Awesome. Onward.